subject science grade 5 chapter number 7 weather patterns lesson number 1 the atmosphere and weather page number 364 so now this is a new lesson that we start how does the sun warms earth i insulation and equator so let's start the lesson how does the sun warms earth first of all we know that the first day of spring thermometer outside your window in new york city reads 41 fahrenheit or 5 degree celsius your friend lives in miami about 2080 km to the south the temperature there is 72 Fahrenheit or 22 degree Celsius. So you can see that in the same day, the temperature in New York City or in Miami is different. So it's a uh, huge difference from here to here. But they have on the same day the temperature here. So why this happened? Before to understand this question, let's start something to know about insulation. when sunlight shines on earth for example this is the sun rays they are coming they fall on the earth you can see here the different angles they form okay so energy from the sun warms earth surface solar energy reaches on planet called insulation this all solar energy in the form of sunlight or that comes in the form of rays that strike to the surface of the earth this known as insulation insulation does not warm all places equally uh, very easy to understand this one <clears throat> due to earth's shape we know that when the sun rays or the sunlight comes from the sun and it strike to the surface of the earth from everywhere earth surface is not similar why because it's a curved surface or just like a ball so an imaginary line called equator run around earth's middle so you can also see this is a imaginary line known as equator it's also move in the middle or the center of the earth when the sun rays or sunlight strike they all have and making different types of angles and shadows you can see that on the surface of the earth sunlight strike the most vertical angles or near the equator is if sunlight as a beam of shines on earth in circle at the equator earth surface is curved the same beam will strike earth at wider angle above and below the equator you can see here so this is the equator if the rays or sunlight is come up and down above and below they make more wider angle as compared to in the equator so it's very easy to understand now beam of sunlight has same amount of heat energy warms earth in oval curve a greater area than a beam that warms earth in a circle what it's mean if this beam and this beam they have same amount of energy of heat energy but here you can say that the um, uh, the form of the light that strike here they make an oval shape okay as compared to them so here the area is more it mean they will strike on the earth surface more and it's giving more energy here as compared to this part of the earth greater the area then it mean it will give more energy areas that are further north or south of the equator receive less heat energy from sunlight areas that are closer to the equator like new york city further away from the equator than miami it receive less of the sun heat energy so you can see here easily at the north and the south pole and here you have the direction of the earth's rotation in the equator so these lights come here making 
90 angle and it's also 90 but here it's different as compared to up and down so less the sun heat energy will be in the middle 